Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video on one of the specific functions of an HTX powered radio. It's aimed at those of you that are relatively new to HTX, might be coming to HTX from FreeSky, Fataba, Spectrum, or maybe you're brand new to the hobby. Now there are links below to the rest of the videos in the series, as well as more advanced stuff as well. Don't forget you can find content by just looking for the thing you're interested in and adding Painless360 to your search term here on YouTube. So let's jump on the bench and let's talk about the topic for today. This time it's talking about rates, specifically how to set up dual or even triple rates. And that's where you can have the change in the travel of a particular control on the radio. So at the moment, if I just flick through the screens here, uh, let me get to there. You can see here that, for example, my roll control, the output and the mixer are exactly the same. So you can see that they track one-to-one. -one. And the way you would normally set that up is that you'd leave it like that. If it's something like a flight controller with Beats Flight, INAR, Vardu Pilot, you tend to not mess around with things like dual rates. However, if you are setting up a directly connected model that doesn't have a flight controller in it typically, things like a glider or a wing or some other kind of fixed wing or maybe even a car for the steering, you might want situations where you can have full travel of the servo and the appropriate control that it's connected to, or you might want it so that the travel becomes an awful lot less. And in fact, I've done a video a long time ago now where I talked about how you could do things like have automatic uh, reduction in the sensitivity of steering for things like RC cars. But the very simple way you can do it is you can have uh, something like the aileron, for example, have two different sensitivities and you can set those up on a switch. So let's talk about that. Now, of course, we're gonna do everything in the good old model. And there are, as usual, several places that you can set up dual rates. For simple setups, you can set it up in the inputs. However, I would recommend getting into the habit of setting it up in the mixer. It can be a little bit less confusing. So at the moment, we have our roll control on channel one. That's that stick that we've been playing with so far. And at the moment, it's set for 100%. So that means that we get 100% of the travel when we move the stick. So what we can do is if we just select that and say edit, we can change the weight. But what we're gonna do here is we're, we will add a switch to this so we can select it and we'll flick the switch that we're interested in. But this time you'll see that there's actually three selections for the switches that we're playing with. Two position switches will have kind of two selections and you can see here we have SE in the back position, middle position and front position. And we can put the switch in exactly the position we want for that particular piece. So SG in the back position is what we're gonna want. And we could come out of that. And what we can do is we can copy it and then change things. So what we're gonna do is so copy, press it again, and we're gonna say insert after. We're going to change the weights, let's say down to 80%. We're gonna add a different switch position, maybe in the middle position for SG, and we're gonna come out. And now what you can see here is we actually have two lines, both on the same channel, but I can flick between them at the flick of a switch. So now I can decide whether I want 100% or 80%. Now, what does that look like if we come all the way out, get back on the monitor screen so we can see it. Then what we can do is if we move the Elon control, you can see it now goes to 80%, not the full travel, but if I flick the switch into the other position, it goes to 100%. So, and I can keep it at its maximum. And as I flick the switch, you'll see it drop down, pop, there it goes, it does it. Now, the challenge with this, an extra little trick, is at the moment, we don't have anything set for that third switch position. So now I've lost my aileron completely, the channel doesn't do anything. So there's a little trick that we can use to stop that happening. So let's go back into model, back into mixer, and where we have 
the 80% and we say edit. Do you remember we said SG in the middle position? Well, actually what we can do is tell the radio when the switch is not in the back position, i.e. any other than that back position where we have 100%, give me 80%. So if we switch on SG again and we put it back into that back position, so if I put the switch back into that back position, so it's SG, but what we want to do is we want to invert it. So it's exclamation mark SG. If I hit that and then we come back out of it. Now the way it works is that in the back position, we get 100%, but in the other two positions of that switch, we get 80%. And you have to be careful with this. When you're playing with a three position switch, you have to kind of set it up so that you never get in a situation where the switch is in a position where you haven't told the radio what to do in that case. The other final thing is here as well, is it does mean we can also do things like add exponential to this. So if I wanted to add a little bit of expo, I could add some on here, but it might be that for the lower rates, I might want a different amount of expo and that I can change that as well. Maybe I want a little bit more. That means also that the exponential is going to change as I flick that switch. And that's the easiest way to do it. it. Allows you to change the sensitivity. Again, this isn't something that I would do with a flight controller. I tend to just set it up so the plane flies great for the way I want to fly it. But if you have something like a very fast model uh, or you have a car or a boat or something else where you want the ability to change how much one of the controls moves and change the rates or movement, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payland360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.